everybody, Sports 3 here, bringing you another awesome action figure review. This one is NECA's Left for Dead Boomer. Yeah, look at this thing. Big shout out to NECA, all the people over there hooked me up with this awesome figure. So, thank you very much. So, I am going to review this guy for you. Man, he looks so gross and sick in there. Just a quick look at the packaging. Very cool. Here's a quick bio of this guy. Let's see if I can get in there close enough for you guys. Go ahead and pause that if you want to read that. There you go. Man, figure splits in half, shows his removable guts and everything. So let's get this thing out. And man, we got to play with this thing. Man, this thing looks wicked, doesn't it? Check it out. Wow. First thing, let's take a look at this. This is his removable guts. Look at that. Let's see if I get in focus. Look at all the, the pussy bile blood guts and just, ah. Man, this thing looks so cool, man. Wow, look at this. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. It looks like a rotten, wormy piece of, I don't know, pizza or something. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. So, that actually, we'll get to that. It goes in here. But this guy is awesome. He's got all kinds of articulation, great paint apps. It's very heavy, too, very solid. And uh, just real quick, quick size comparison so you get an idea of how, how this guy stands here. So he is relatively short, but, um, but he is massive. He's literally, like, he's just much heavier than their standard uh, Predator figure there. But yeah, there's the back right there. Man, this thing is wicked. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this. Man, this guy is awesome. Quite the conversation piece. Look at all the boils. And the pus and everything sticking out, guts getting ready to explode. Wow. Yeah, this thing is amazing. For articulation, he has a complete spin at the head, a little bit of up and down movement, slightly hindered by this big pus bag hanging off. And the mouth does move up and down as well. So that's awesome. <laughs> I can't get over this thing. Uh, one thing that I noticed is got he's got a shoulder, uh, I don't know, sleeve something, whatever, right there. And then nothing here. But... It still only goes up this high, just like that. But it only hinders it just a bit. But it's got the joint right in there, you can see. So this guy's got all kinds of arm posability. A spin and up and down at the elbow, at the wrist here. It does spin around quite nice. I mean, look at the hand, man. Even the arm and everything's all just nasty looking. <laughs> I love it. Um, same thing over here, you know, hand, wrist, articulation, up and down, spin at the elbow. And his whole chest, uh, area here spins it's it's kind of like on a, another type of feels like a ball joint in there so it does move around pretty good and then down here at the legs they're like on ball joints in there so you can kind of move them but not a whole lot of posability in there and then at the knees it's got the up and down motion and a spin like it kind of kind of moves back and forth a little bit but basically up and down in the spins and then the feet are on like little ball joints in there as well so it does move up and down to the side however you want to pose it um, because he's so thick and blocky like bulgy uh, you really can't get a whole lot of poseability out of him though the though the figure does have all kinds of articulation there's only so much you can do with something like this but yeah <laughs> this thing cracks me up so if you pop them off here in the middle, and it, oh yeah, and it does spin there, but if you pop them off here in the middle, then you can just like lay them there like he's like he blew up and he's dead. You pop this on here, and then you can just figure out how you want to put this here, I guess maybe like that. And then you can just stand them like so. So he is a little top heavy, but he, he will stand. And then you can do that right there. So yeah, that's awesome. Check that out. So yeah, this is a great figure. I'm so glad that I got this, man. NECA rocks, man. They make some top-notch figures. There we go. But there you have it. Boomer for Left from Dead, Left for Dead uh, video game. Very cool, man. This is definitely, uh, if you're a gamer and stuff, and you like to collect certain figures from from your games that you like to play and I understand this I don't play the game but I can tell you I know it's real popular um, you, gotta, you absolutely have to get this guy if anything just to have it on your desk but there you go everybody thanks for watching I appreciate it and uh, again thank you very much NECA for the hookup take it easy everybody we'll see you next time